morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Adam Kubia. Today we are in the center part of uh, Poland, uh, near uh, Wrocław city, at uh, Mr. Glinkowski sawmill. And uh, today uh, we are going to present you SLP line. Modularity of our system allows us for easy configuration. With our system, we are able to easily adopt our machines to both uh, new and also existing uh, production uh, facility. And Mr. Glinkowski sawmill is uh, recognizable on the market as a supplier of high uh, quality uh, pallets. Okay, so right now we are inside a production facility and behind me is the SLP line. The major machines of the line are the TVS Heavy Duty. The purpose of that machine is just to uh, create two side cans because we break down the logs. Then the next machine, which is part of the line, is HR700 single head uh, horizontal saw. The purpose of that uh, head is just to reduce oversized cans. And then after that we have a double arbor gang saw for breaking down uh, cans. Here we are at the place when the line starts. The first component of the line is a horizontal loading deck. Our standard loading decks are with 3.6 or 6 meters long conveyor, what is equivalent of 12 or 20 feet. However, in reality, we do a lot of custom-made loading decks. Also important thing here is, as you can see, that loading deck, the color is different than all other components of the line. And that is an example which shows that we are able to incorporate some existing equipment to our line. And that is just that situation. The second component of the line is incline loading deck. The role of incline loading deck is just to, first of all, singulate the logs which are located on the first horizontal loading deck and then transfer those logs from horizontal loading deck to TBS heavy duty in-fit table. The loading deck is also equipped with loading arms and loading arms is an integral component of, the, of TVS Heavy Duty. The infit table itself is equipped with the carriage, which is also equipped with sprocket. And normally on loading position, if, when we would like to load the log from the incline loading deck to TVS Heavy Duty infit table, in automatical way we are able to move those hold down rollers up. Also at the same time the carriage moves up then the operator has clear clearance just to load the logs and then position, position the logs by using those sprockets and then position lock is just pierced on those sharp chain and additionally is pressed from the top by hold down rollers here and after that the lock is taken to the TVS heavy duty cutting heads. Right here we can see the operator uh, panel and from the operator panel we are able to control the whole line. Right here there is the joystick and with joystick we can control the loading deck and we are able to position and feed the locks. Here there is the position of set work where we are able to control the distance on uh, TVS uh, heads. And right here we, we have also cameras, four cameras, where we are able to monitor the whole process.
TPS heavy duty and its basic technical parameters. The machine is prepared for processing logs with diameter from 150 mm up to 450 mm, what is equivalent of 6 up to 18 inches. Regarding the length, the minimum length we are able to process on that machine is 1.2 meters, what is equivalent of uh, 4 feet. And maximum length we are able to do here is uh, 5.2 meters, what is 17 uh, feet. However, on special request, we are able to reduce minimum length and diameter. There is one example of TDS Heavy Duty, which we built for a customer from, uh, from Asia, from uh, Thailand. And that particular, particular machine was prepared for process diameter from 100, what is 4 inches, up to 350, what is uh, 13, 13 uh, inches. Here, TVS Heavy Duty is slightly elevated. The elevation is around 10 inches, what is 250 millimeters. The purpose of the elevation is mostly just to have better access uh, for cleanings. And also, with elevation, elevation helped us to incorporate the belt conveyor, which is located here. And that is the first major difference, standard TVS versus TVS Heavy Duty. On TVS Heavy Duty, both heads, the basket of the head from the bottom is open. All sodas go to the belt conveyor first, then those sodas are taken to the side and extracted by vacuum extraction uh, system. Uh, electric motor, the electric motor which powers the TVS Heavy Duty head is located up here and that is the second uh, major difference. On the standard TVS, uh, there is a single belt which is used for double purposes. It's just to transmit the power and also to guide the blade. Here, the power transmission is separated and this allowed us to incorporate, us to use a stronger electric motor. On standard TVS, maximum power we are able to use is 11 kW, what is a 15 horsepower. Here, because we, were, we separated uh, the transmission, the power transmission. This allowed us just to use stronger motor. And right here we used 18 and half kW kilowatts electric motor, what is equi equivalent of a 25 uh, horse uh, power. Uh, that particular machine is equipped with blade wheels and the system for standard 38 millimeters wide blade, what is one and a half inch. But there is also physical possibility to adopt here our new system prepared to support two inch blade. The important information I think is even on existing TVS heavy duty there is a physical possibility to replace the wheels and switch to a two inch belted system. To tension the blade on TVS Heavy Duty, we use a hydraulic manual pump. By that pump, by one pump, we can tension blades on both uh, heads at the same uh, time. Uh, what you can see now is a TVS Heavy Duty outfit table. The table, as a standard, is equipped with a side disc, which are located here and also with uh, pneumatic hold-down hold down rollers. Both uh, side disc and hold-down rollers are controlled by optic uh, sensors. The purpose of those side discs is just to control the slab uh, fall. There are optic sensors which uh, controls the position of the log and the, when the log, the, its full length is on the uh, outfit side, then all side discs open simultaneously. After separating the slab, slab is transferred to the incline loading deck and then those slabs are transferred for machine, uh, machines for processing uh, slabs. The machines which process slabs here at Mr. Glinkowski place were also incorporated. That is not uh, our system. 
and Mr. Glinkowski adopted his uh, system to that line. And that is the next example which shows that there is a physical uh, possibility to incorporate existing system and synchronize it with uh, our system. At the end of TVS Heavy Duty outfit table, there is a kind of special hold down roller. The role of that roller is just to transfer two side count from a TVS Heavy Duty to the belt conveyor, which is located underneath that hold down roller. And after transferring the count, the role of the roller is just to flip the count and transfer it to the next machine. After flipping two side count on the belt conveyor, the count is transferred to automatic feeding table, which feeds the count to HR700 resole. The role of that head here is just to reduce oversized count. And here I would like to give you some more details why sometimes we want to reduce the count. Altogether on TVS Heavy Duty we are able to process relatively wide range of log diameter. As I mentioned minimum is 6 inches, what is 150, maximum could be even 450. In pallets production there are some uh, typical sizes sizes of cans which are used in, uh, for pallet production. With that head we are able to reduce the volume of the slabs and transfer the main volume to the gang saw. Uh, for tensioning the blade on HR700 head we use a manual hydraulic pump, pump located here. The pump or the unit is also equipped with the pressure sensor and the gauge, the pressure gauge. And in the situation when, for example, the blade drops out of the wheel or physically breaks, then all line is uh, suddenly stopped. One of the important factors why we decided to incorporate HR700 head into that system is with that head, there is no need to sort the logs which are transferred to TDS Heavy Duty. And here we can see the separator. The role of the separator is just to separate oversized, uh, oversized cans. The can separator is uh, controlled by optic sensor located uh, here. And as a separator, assistance we use pneumatic cylinder located on the on that side of the separating uh, plate uh, after a count separator we have three meters long uh, roller conveyor the role of the roller conveyor is just to speed up with those counts just to cre create proper gaps between uh, separated uh, counts and after rolling conveyor, the count is transferred to a centering feeding gang saw machine. With that system, we are able to process oversized cans which were prepared for processing on multi rip on another machine. MR200 gang saw, the role of it is just to turn two side count into boards. And behind uh, MR200, we have material handling equipment for uh, collecting all uh, boards and transferring them uh, to the site. And right here you can see position of screws for adjusting position of both MR200 arbors and also of MR200 head height. And that is MR200 place where we have access to the arbors and also access to replace the blades. I think it's good to mention some uh, major uh, features and one I think of very important feature of MR200 is here we are able to adjust 
position of all uh, of both uh, arbors uh, separately. So that is kind of unique feature of that uh, gang saw. Also standard MR200 equipment is the chipper which is located underneath uh, both uh, arbors. The role of the chipper is just to chip all small pieces or part of barks which are generated during the process and after chipping all uh, all those chipped pieces and sodas are taken by vacuum sodas extraction uh, system. All cutting units which are part of the line are prepared to be connected to vacuum extraction system. Electric cables are uh, hidden in the covers which are located over the line or just underneath the line for easy access for cleaning purposes. And that is when we want to end uh, our presentation. Uh, for more information, uh, please uh, visit our website or directly contact us by the email or phone call. Please also follow our social media. Uh, thank you very much.